All right, let's talk about infinite depth. So to do this, I guess the easiest way is hit the comma key to bring up your light box, and let's grab this cube ZPR from the Z projects. And go ahead and turn off perspective, turn off floor, and if you just rotate around so you're snapped to the front here, you can see we have X symmetry turned on, and if we go to our move brush, it's a BMV, you can use a move brush and you can move this around. If you go to the side here, it's going to go, oh, as we were moving this around and I was touching uh, this, you, if you go to this side, you're going to see, as I was touching that, the brush radius, and let's go up here to Preferences, Edit, turn off a line cursor to surface so I can, so it doesn't flop around. You're going to see that basically that radius only goes back as far as my brush size. You know, let's say I want it, but let's say when I'm pulling this out, I want it to go all the way straight back. So how I do that is in ZBrush 2020, I can go to the Brush, Depth, infinite depth. Now, by default, it's set to Z, which in our case, since we're looking right at it, we turn on our floor, we see Z was forward. Uh, when we pull out, and then we go to the side, well, first you have to turn it on, and then as we pull this out, and then we look to the side, it's going to go straight back. And you don't have to be locked in that axis. You can actually just pull from here, and no matter where you are, it'll be always an infinite Z depth. Of course, if you wanted to pull uh, directly out, it's just a little bit easier if you're turned to the side. So if we want to, we can like pull this out large, and then this little smaller, this little smaller, this little smaller, and then maybe in here we can go through and we can pull these in, and then that's the result we're going to get, again, using infinite depth. Now if you go to the very top here, uh, like just like I said, if we're, we're at this angle and it's like, oh, I want to pull infinite depth in Z, it knows Z is in this direction, so whatever change we make to here is going to go straight back. Same thing if we're at the top. If we just grab this middle and move it out, you're going to be like, whoa, is it moving my entire object? No, just only down as far as much as your, your uh, brush size here. So if we go over here and make this really big and then pull out from the Z and go to the side here, you're going to see that little inside brush circle. It's infinite depth in the Z until our brush kind of fades off from the top here. Now if anybody's watched my YouTube channel, you know we uh, one of my things I do a lot is I, have, I actually have a brush for this. You're going to see I have a move accu. It's essentially your move brush, uh, but under curve we have accu curve turned on. That's going to allow you to pull the points. So again with Z depth, you can go through here and you can kind of pull out two points here and then you can go in and kind of pull in these corners if you want to and then you're going to see uh, that's the result I'm getting. Of course you can change those axes. Uh, right now it's set to Z but you can do it in the Y. So now when I pull on my object here you see it's going to go this way. So now when I go to the top then yes it is going to work like this. However when I go to the side it's going to behave like it was in the Z axis only in the Y axis. So this one's kind of coming from the top down. And of course in the X is the last one. So you can kind of go in this direction. Now this is different than just having X symmetry turn on. Again, if I turn off infinite depth and I try to do this, it'll kind of do it, but it's only going to go back as far as that brush has influence. So infinite depth uh, definitely gives you a little bit more control in that area. The cool thing about infinite depth, we go into, um, let's go to brush insert industrial parts. We'll hit M, we'll grab a, a flat head, or you can just go and grab any one of these, doesn't really matter. And we're going to make our brush size uh, pretty small, maybe 27 or 30. And then hold down, oops, it's not going to let you. Let's do this. Open up Subtool, go to Append, Poly Mesh 3D. And if you turn on Transparent, you can see Poly Mesh 3D is kind of buried inside that object, which is perfect. So select that Poly Mesh 3D, turn off Transparent, and now you can um, start dragging on an Insert Mesh Brush. Now if you hold down Control as you're dragging it on, it's going to snap to that brush size. And actually before we do that, uh, let's turn on X Symmetry. And then again, we can just start dragging out bolts here. And it's going to do it on both sides. So start dragging out the bolt and then hold down control and it'll snap to your brush size. Then control drag. Uh, if we go into solo mode, you're going to see you have a bunch of bolts drawn on here. We go into polyframe. Hold down control shift, isolate the star, control shift drag in your document to invert, and then go to geometry, modify topology, delete hidden. And now we just have a subtool with bolts and a subtool with a cube on it. Now, if I want to move these bolts around, one of the ways I can do that is I can go into my move brush. I'm going to turn off Accu Curve. I'm going to go down here to Auto Masking, and we can say Topological. I'm going to make my brush size 1, and then as I click and drag, I can move this. And since I have X Symmetry turned on, it'll move the other one as well. Another option, I can have Infinite Depth turned on in the direction I want it to be in, which is going to be X. And now, as long as my brush, and let's turn our focal shift down to a negative 100, as long as my brush encapsulates that size of uh, object, it'll go ahead and move these things and anything in between. So in fact, let's try this. Let's hit W and then control drag out a copy 
So they're right in front of the other. Control drag, go out of solo mode, and then again it's big enough, it has X, the brush size is big enough to encapsulate one. We can move these all around, and let's make it so it just covers this one. And now, well, I don't know where this one goes. There you go. <laughs> Guess we can spread this smile out a little bit, a little bit wider. There we go. So now move topological couldn't do that because if I have topological turned on, it's only going to do anything that's vert welded. But move infinite depth in that direction, uh, you can move these things around very, very easily. Now that's not you. You don't have to just use it on square things or things that are lined up perfectly. I mean, you can go in here and grab. Let's go in here and uh, grab the demo anime head. So again, we have uh, infinite depth turned on in the X, and we have move. Let's go ahead and move that. Take that focal shift back to zero here. So as we pull this out, it's going to go straight across. If we go Z, we can do infinite depth in the Z direction. I'm going to go ahead and go grab move accu with infinite depth in Z. So again, you can just kind of pull through here. Or again, you can change it to Y. If it makes sense. Let's go ahead and hit the comma key. Let's just uh, hit grab that dog Z project. And in this one, since his legs are so thin, uh, if we're in this direction and we're in move and we don't have infinite depth turned on, but we do have X symmetry turned on, so tap X, uh, these legs will move about what you would expect. However, if we turn on transform, activate symmetry in the Z, even though when they're in the Z direction, it's not going to, oh, I can probably do both. We can do transform X and Z. Uh, it's not gonna go all the way back to that back leg. However, if we do transform in the X and turn on infinite depth in the Z, now both legs are going to move. Transform, X, there we go. And then infinite depth and Z. We can do both sides and it goes straight back. And this works with any brush. Now it's not global, so if I do go to my inflate brush, infinite depth is going to be turned off. So I'll go ahead and turn that on in the Z. And now I can thicken up both of his legs at the same time just using infinite depth.